A Russian fighter plane has crashed into a residential building in the southern Russian city of Yeysk, engulfing apartments in a fireball. Local officials say four people were killed and another six are missing. Ukraine's nuclear energy firm Enogo Atom said the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant was disconnected from the national power grid again on Monday following Russian shelling. Russia says massive strikes have been carried out on what it called military and infrastructure targets. Ukraine's military says it shot down two Russian cruise missiles on Monday and repelled Russian attacks in the Donetsk region. Sergio Olmos has more from Kriviri in Ukraine. Well, these were 28 kamikaze drones launched at Kyiv, the capital. Uh, according to Ukraine officials, there were five explosions, so 23 were shot down. Uh, Ukraine's air defenses have been working uh, overtime in the last week. There was a similar attack on Monday last week that hit the city center. Uh, these five explosions occurring in residential areas in the city center, uh, killing a family, expecting a child. Uh, this is a, a residential area. These are uh, people getting ready to go to school and work. And uh, let's hear a little bit more about that from Kyiv's mayor, Vitaly Klitschko. This is the central part of the city where civilians live. There is no military here. And all this is a lie about a special operation. This is a terrorist attack. It cannot be called anything other than terrorism. Yeah, and I've actually walked by many of those places uh, that we see. I've seen some of those the, the bombings uh, uh, from last week, and I can tell you that uh, it shocked the city. Um, this is a city that's trying to return to a sense of normalcy. Kids do go to school there, unlike some cities here in Ukraine where, because of security precautions, kids are still not going to school there. Uh, this absolutely sends a, a shockwave of fear. Uh, but, you know, Ukraine officials are holding steadfast that they are going to continue pushing on. Uh, and where I am, I just came back from the front lines in Kherson today. They clearly are pushing on on the battlefield. Yeah, so Iran says it maintains that, that it is not supplying uh, Russia with these drones. Uh, we know that Ukraine is, uh, of course, accusing Iran of, of supplying these drones to Russia. U U.S. officials are, say that they have intelligence that uh, suggests that. We heard today from European uh, ministers, uh, Denmark's minister, saying uh, Iranian drones are used apparently to attack in the middle of Kyiv. This is an atrocity. Estonia's foreign minister saying that there should be uh, sanctions worked out immediately. Uh, Joseph Burrell saying that the investigation should be uh, occurring, looking into whether Iran, there's concrete evidence whether Iran did provide these drones. France and Germany maintain that this uh, violates the UN Security Council resolution and that these transfers, uh, uh, you know, are, uh, are, are the reason for that, that they should not be uh, uh, supplying uh, Russia with weapons to attack civilians in Ukraine. And of course, Ukraine is, is, is saying that Iran has blood on its hands. But uh, so far, there has been no comment from the Kremlin on the specific issue. And Iran maintains that it is not supplying those drones.